Welcome to Stash Club Wrestling. My name is John. My name is Dante. Today we are doing something a little different. Well, we've done it before, but we are doing another bracket. Today, Dante, me and you, you and I. Us two. Us two. Stash Club. Are going to determine, figure out, discover what the greatest WWE match stipulation is. Ooh. Via. Via. March Madness bracket style elimination. You get it. Yep. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I got nothing else. So to that's get it. Yeah. So we're um, just going to. I put this together. There's 32. 32 yeah. matches. 32. A lot of matches. Seated. We're going to go through it. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready to do it. There's no hey, real good my, luck, but. Yeah, might as well. You know? Hey. Good luck. Good luck to you. <laughs> okay. First one we have. First seed war games. It's a good first it's seed. It's a good first seed. It goes up against the 32 seed, a submission match. The classic match that ends all rivalries in WWE 2K, the submission match. War games is number one for a reason. I mean, the double rings, the big ass cage, just the 4v4, 5v5. It's. Is a thing though. It's new, new to us. It's I know it newer. has its history. They ha it was in WCW. Right. They did it in NXT. The NXT ones. I mean, there's only been one on the main roster, right. which was great. But I think that's going to come around to hurt it in the later rounds. Sure. But for now, I think War Games clears submission. Yeah. Yeah. By far. Next, three stages of hell mm -hmm. versus the ladder match. Now, IMO, Three Stages of Hell has a little bit of an unfair advantage. Because it's three matches. I believe it does have an unfair advantage. It's a more like, oh, shit. Like, if there's a Three Stages of Hell match, like, you know shit's yeah. going to go down. It's only right? happened a handful of times in the WWE. But there's nothing better than a good ladder match. There's been some fucking great I like a ladder match. I love a ladder match. Are we picking? Wait a minute. Are we yeah, picking oh, ladder match? Oh, yeah. I'm picking ladder match. Oh, well, so me too. I thought... Three stage. I thought three stages hell was going forward. Wow. No, I mean like oh, we're, people we're, are gonna, I mean there's a good chance we see it people. again in the future. But like we'll and we might see it in the next month, Brock and Cody. But like you said, it's a dis disadvantage in like a ladder match, bro. There's just so it's many just iconic classic. matches, spots. Like Money in the Bank is genuinely like only type of match. Well, I don't want to sp <laughs> I want to give away my thing here, but ladder match like Money in the Bank is one of my favorite matches. Money in the Bank ever. is the best stipulation. Guys, the ladder match is <laughs> winning this. Um but just I Okay. Nothing better well, than a good ladder no match. No spoilers, spot. but Money in the Bank is on here. Is it? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's a different I'd still stipulation. Pick a I'd still okay. pick a ladder match. Wow, I'm shocked. Sorry, guys. Is that an upset? I mean, I mean it by, was the higher seed. By the seating, it's not, but like... Now we upset. got the proper one versus 16 mm -hmm. in the next round. TLC match versus... A no disqual a simple no disqualification match. So it's an episode of Raw, no DQ. I feel like there's going to be a few matches that are like similar but different. Like no DQ'd, no holds <laughs> street barred. Fight. Street fight. I don't know if... it's. I'm not sure if no holds It's all in the... Yeah. Falls kind of anywhere. It's all the same thing, yeah. right? TLC match... Uh, there's just more to it like there's similar I mean, matches it's i guess tlc matches tech is a ladder match because you're still like yeah i guess it depends i think i don't know if they've always done you climb the ladder because think i'm thinking them, i'm thinking when it was cena orton and they unified the belt that was a tlc match and they, they i could be wrong at least in the at least in the video games like uh -huh. the, the, the smackdown versus sure. raw ones i don't believe it was always not a every the i don't one. think every single tlc match involves climbing the ladder but then and again getting like something. the classic like the classic like tlc one and tlc two with the hardys and Ex exactly they, i think they did have i think it's just a mix interesting either way i'm picking tlc me match me so too. i mean i'm picking tlc match solely because of the tlc one yeah. tlc two with absolutely dudley's hardy's dudley's EMC. hardy's yeah absolutely iconic i mean winner just like See the next single round. ladder match special guest referee hmm. versus buried alive match Ooh, we don't see a lot of buried alive match don't see a lot of ever. special guests well you see more, more i guess you often, do see more, more special often. guests special guests i don't love i think it depends really it could be iconic like mike tyson right or or it could be i can't think of an example but like it could be like a, oh why is why is this person even oh um when it was randy orton versus wade barrett and cena was the special guest referee if orton won because he was the champ cena was fired from wwe if wade barrett won he was let go of nexus because he was in the nexus mm -hmm. at the time like something like that is is fascinating but like like you said like there's there's many more examples where it's just like ridiculous like it's just like a stupid like whatever like part of a storyline for this one i'm not even going off i know some of them a lot of them were touched on history but a lot of these are also what would i rather watch a buried alive you match. know it's a buried alive match. yeah and we haven't seen it like again like there's not a lot of them but it's one of those matches where it's like if it's happening it's You're there's a like reason it. for it, you know so the elimination chamber match versus a hair versus hair match it seems like an easy walk it, i mean also like it's like hair also like hair versus mask like you can you know yeah sub cm in punk ray mysterio right. did it uh i think that was the probably the most recent time they pulled something like that off maybe i don't know yeah, I, can't I don't think know of... 
But oh. like the elimination shame, I mean, it has its own pay per view. There's no, th- there's no hair versus hair pay per view. It ain't no. <laughs> the, <laughs> hey, that's what they say. There's no hair versus hair. Uh, yeah, elimination chamber is just iconic. A backstage slash like alt parking lot mm-hmm. ultimate setting brawl versus an Iron Man slash woman match. I think a backstage brawl can be overrated sometimes. Yeah, I think it can have its like entertainment moments because it's like you're you can use like different weapons like Mm -hmm. you can get creative like the weapons you use and like your 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 environment and stuff i like it better in the video games really sure yeah (laughs) sure i'm always going to and then you have iron man matches where it's like you know it's just 30 minutes or an hour of just like if it's an iron man match it's probably going to be like a big blow off match. like cena orton had one um i mean the most recent one danielson exactly Um, maybe arguably one of the best arguably best iron man match Shawn michaels bret hart like Mm -hmm. there have been some iconic ones again another match we don't see often but like it's great every single time there's an iron man match it's gonna be good the backstage stuff sounds more fun but but i think the iron man match is the better goes here yeah Yeah. i agree a street fight versus Mm -hmm. a strap match which i guess the strap match is arguably a street fight with with a strap with a strap yeah Um, again not something we see often in wwe no bull rope strap yeah all the same sort of thing i don't know when the last i don't know i think JBL and Eddie, I think, had one. Sia Umaga. I can't believe I remember. I think it was Umaga and CM Punk had one. I, <laughs> I don't. Don't ask me how I remember that. Um, A street fight can be overrated. But that's what I'm saying. Like street fights, no DQ. It's like it's. It's the same it thing. It leans more on the title. I mean, like, the only difference between a street fight and no DQ is, like, they come out dressed in jeans. Sure, And yeah, a t-shirt. Yeah. I like the idea of it, so you get a more, like, I mean, Dean Ambrose always had these. Street fight definitely gritty. had, car- the name of it carries more weight than an Otis qualification match. However, if you but, see on the on the marquee, a strap or a street fight, what do you have more, like, oh, shit, a strap match tonight? Oh, shit. I'd pick a street fight. Do you really? Yeah. I'd pick a strap. Oh, wow. <sighs> But I, so to, to answer that question, I think I'd be more interested in the street fight, but I want, I, I do want to pick strat match because okay. I already, we already said no DQ. It's just, it's, I can't get over the fact that it's the same thing. I That's think all. There's, there's not many others on this list that can replicate what a strat match is. Sure. A lot, yeah, a lot exactly. others can replicate. Yeah. So let's fight. do okay. strat match. I right. do think I prefer street fight, but in this case, strat match. I don't know if strap's going far. That's the no, thing. No, but that's fine. Chairs match. <laughs> definitely isn't going far. It definitely is Chairs isn't. match versus the Royal Rumble. I mean. One of the best matches ever, match ever created ever, ever i hate chairs matches I, yeah i mean it's, it's the rumble, it's it's the rumble. It's the rumble. Yeah, i don't know what i'll say chairs match is a no dq but with chairs so that's yeah. all it is the money in the bank match versus an object on the pole match which is like i've never been a fan of no so, i don't think they really work too well no sometimes it's a flag sometimes it's a i don't know a mask or yeah. sometimes a contract or whatever contract. i remember it was the miz I'm, i don't know why you're I'm pulling them out i'm re- remembering these things that's what we need here the for. miz got fired or something like that and then they were in canada and he came out wearing a canadian mad like the canada kid mm-hmm. they called him and it was him versus remember eugene mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. eugene and it was like a one-off it was like whoever wins this match gets a contract with wwe so oh i vaguely remember the this. Mi- yeah I, I that's crazy i don't know if they called him the canadian kid calgary kid they called him something uh-huh. and then he wins it everyone's like oh whatever and then he takes the mask yeah, off yeah. and it's the miz um that's like the only like, it was cool but it's, it's we are we are coming off a we're coming money off in the money bank in the bank what are we yeah. not gonna pick it money in the bank an inferno match versus a Ooh, casket this match. is actually the closest one i think so i think far. so um, um another instance where both these matches aren't super popular but you think of kane you think of undertaker i think of them for both these matches that's what i'm honestly. saying honestly initial reactions is a casket match is similar to a buried alive match except the casket is just near the ring or whatever undertaker versus mark henry yep you just kind of gotta roll a man or something mm-hmm. inferno matches might be a little overrated yeah when's the last time you see like other than maybe classic Kane stuff or classic Attitude Era stuff, mm-hmm. whenever they've tried to do it again, I don't think it really they, hits. They did it, um, Bray Wyatt versus Orton, when they yes. set Bray on fire. Remember that? Yes. And then they did, it was, then they did the whole burnt fiend thing but again i think the inferno match though is more like like oh shit. i think so too you know what i mean it's like oh like someone might get burnt like casket's fun because a lot of this um i don't want to base everything off history again more so it's like what am i what's the best one what's the most exciting sure history does play a lot into for it for sure but also you have to think like you hear inferno match it's like holy shit what what was it i think it was kane and mvp yes. right back in and the day lit, kane, lit mvp on he just fire like, just like dipped him into the fire Dude, and lit so him on that's fire. when i ju- first started watching uh-huh. wrestling and when i started watching mvp would always have tape 
around him because oh, yeah. he was selling the burns yeah. for years. <laughs> for like from from when I was eight years old to like nine, ten years old, I would I was like, oh my god, like this guy is wrestling mm -hmm. with like third degree burns mm -hmm. on his back, and I thought it was I was I was sold on it. Um, right. But I think Inferno Inferno match in the next match, round, yeah. a last man slash woman standing mm -hmm. match versus a battle, battle royal. royal. I think, I think Battle Rumble. Royals can be overrated. Yeah. It's like, it's a mini Royal Rumble, but, and now we're kind of leading more history. But Matt, Battle Royals are more like everyone's in the ring at once. That's true. Right? So that's the big differential. But they're, a Battle Royal is usually some mid-car, lower tier I guys. agree. It's I usually, usually like a number one contenders match or like, rare, like we've seen ones before, like like if someone vacates a world title, like the great Kali won it in a Battle Royal sure. or Kurt Angle did it. But it's similar, but not as good as the Royal Rumble. Yes. Last man standing match. There's some good ones. Like Roman Brock last year yeah. at SummerSlam was fucking sick. I think I think I think it walks. Yeah, it you walks. Know? Yeah, for sure. A tables match versus a falls count anywhere, which is very similar, similar to a last man standing. But someone's gotta like get that. pin it's similar but different. Sometimes you see they sometimes they go extreme and they'll do they'll go backstage, they go in the You can get more the, creative. The stadium. Yeah. Tables matches are tables matches to me. I like the idea of you lose if you get thrown through a table. Yeah. That's always fun. There's, some, There's a lot of some great tables matches. There are. But I think also like of the three chairs ladder table, it's second. Yeah. I mean, falls coming anywhere is always is always They're a fun. fun. It's always a, it's a fun match. All right. An extreme rules match versus a lumberjack slash Jill match. Yeah, see, like, These are also never good. The lumberjack match. No, I'm, so, I'm, never well, I'm picking extreme rules, but it's just like it's another no. What's DQ. the difference between that and like a TLC match or like well, no especially DQ a street, or street fight. fight? Extreme rules and street fight are it's the, the same, same thing. It's Even the during extreme rules, they come out in jeans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm going extreme rules Me match too. just because lumberjack matches are never they, great they're never good they're never good first blood match versus a steel cage oh wow steel cage has a has a much higher seating than this yeah the first blood match to me i kind of mentioned it earlier it's always the one in smackdown versus raw you pick when you right. just want to you just want to beat rick flair real quick yeah. or something you know <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know the last time there was a first blood match in wwe it has to be a fucking long time ago yeah. once they started doing pg stuff yeah. and the blood steel cage is always exciting steel cage is always i don't fun. think it's gonna go too far no but i but think Steel it's Cage. Exciting. Yeah, Steel Cage definitely deserves this one. An I Quit match versus a two out of three falls match. That's a good one. Batista Cena. Yeah, they've had a they've had that was a great one. There have been some where was it? The Rock Mankind when uh mm. he like played he had the fake recording of Mankind saying like I quit and stuff <laughs> like that. It's iconic. Two out of John three. Cena, Randy Orton, that's another good one. I too. like two out of three falls. I do too. I like the idea of it, but it always goes to the third fall. Always. Which isn't a bad thing. Always, yeah. I get it, but I quit. You see him less. Edge Balor had it last year. Yeah. They had that one. You gotta bring your opponent to the limit to Roman say I quit. Jay and the Hell in a Cell was an I quit match. I was, so... When I was like looking over Bloodline stuff again, I like it's crazy that they did an I Quit match in a Hell in a Cell. Yeah, <laughs> I like forgot about it. And it's that. arguably probably one of the best matches they had during this oh, entire easily, title. Yeah. E like you can consider it top three, top five. I I'm going I Quit. I'm going I Quit yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean two out of threes. It's fun. It, it's you know it could be a long match exciting but i think it's a 50 either either it's it's great and it's similar to an iron man match or, or it doesn't really hit and it's, like I'm you said it's I predictable quit. always goes down to the third fall all right last one in this category we have a punjabi prison match versus a hell in a cell match have you ever seen a good punjabi prison that's match? the thing they've yeah. never been good they did one like recently randy right? Orton gender and then Great yes, Collie came, came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The structure, the is structure cool, looks cool, but but for whatever reason they've never they, been it good. just never hit. Um, and Hell in a Cell is it's Hell in a Cell. It's man. Hell in a Cell. It's Hell in a Cell. Taker Mankind. Yeah, that's obviously the first one. But right. then, then from there, I mean, had, the most you know? recent Edge Finn Demon Finn Balor, which was a solid mm -hmm. match. Yeah, it's I saw Charlotte and Sasha. Charlotte, live Sasha, in Hell in a Cell. Um, oh yeah, you they were there did. For they that, did yeah. Roman Rusev and Roman Rusev. Well, when they had the Hell in a Cell pay per view, they were. Just, just put the cell on anything. Throw, they were yeah. just throwing anyone in there. Um, the yeah, we'll do that one. All right, All we're right. into the Sweet 16. Second round. Let's do it. War Games versus a ladder match. A ladder match. So now ladder match advanced. Money in the Bank advanced. A ladder match has the history. Again, War Games does, but, but less in WWE, more so in NXT. I hope it becomes a standard thing at Survivor Series. I, I can see that happening. I, I think it's going to be a ladder match. 
No. Wait, what did you say? I said I think it's I think it's going to beat ladder match. Oh, I thought you said it's gonna be ladder match, not beat. Yeah, they're gonna add a bunch of ladders <laughs> to it. Gonna... Um yeah, I think like when you hear war games. Especially when on. William Regal Come says on. it. Are you kidding me? War games. And then once William Regal's whole contract thing where he can finally get on TV again, because uh-huh. the, whole, the whole thing of AEW is like if you if we let you go, you can't be on TV right. for like an extra time. Once he's back and he's able to do that, where that's money. Yeah, I like I, it's newer, but it's just like the two rings, the big Big ass cage. And I think great. especially since now there's money in the bank in this tournament. We can that's, get that's the ladder match's older brother. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So War, War games. games. TLC match versus Buried Alive match. Another like ladder match kind I of. I don't know. But like, like okay, so TLC match. Do we want to consider awesome. this a TLC match? Do we want to consider this a like a ladder match type of thing, or do we want to just consider it like an extreme rules type of? Because I'm I'm still like caught up in how I, I'm looking at it. I think. I mean. I think keep this to me it's okay. different to me it's different even if they have like the ladder stipulation where you have to grab it mm-hmm. i think it's different enough i'm still picking tlc i think i <sighs> i want to pick tlc because like <sighs> the tlc has history again we keep going mean, the, the tlc one and tlc tlc two are right two of the greatest matches buried alive match on paper is great it's a staple of the undertaker but, but like, i'm more excited for a tlc match that's how i'm looking at it i think a tlc match is more high faster paced like m- more weapons involved very lot i think but at the same time it's pretty cool seeing a guy getting dirt thrown on him at the end i think the mature pit is tlc i'm leaning but did but, casket go did casket walk um, i forget if casket advanced we'll find out because i would I prefer i would prefer buried alive over casket i agree i think i agree with that yeah i think i'm going tlc I'll, i want to go TLC. it's close it is very close uh, buried alive has the theatrics which right, is always fun. right right let's go I, TLC. i think i think let's we're go, going uh, tlc tlc match is more fun the elimination chamber match versus the iron man slash woman match <sighs> There ain't no Iron Man pay per view. <laughs> it's true. It's I, true. I, I I think I just I love Elimination Chamber matches. It is great. I think the only there hasn't you know they they don't always hit the one the, the U S match this last year with like Montez Seth, that was good. that was a really that good was one. good. Um, I think the only downside to Elimination Chamber the only like thing I really don't like about it nowadays is how they've like kind of removed the chain stuff and it's like padded on the it's just a little bit it's like I little, get it it's yeah. more protect like it's the, better for the rest the grittiness of it has been turned it's, down. it's not as extreme it's not as like oh like people are gonna get hurt this yeah. match type of thing whereas before like literally like you get thrown to the outside you're going on chains like that's yeah. gonna hurt but i still love an elimination chamber match just just the the sheer size of the cage and people feeling climbing it, it going yeah. on the pods and iron man matches again they're great they're good but some sometimes they can go if they if they don't hit they don't hit. they don't hit at yeah. least an elimination chamber match you can have a bad elimination chamber match but at least like well the structure is still cool, exactly you know? yeah. mm-hmm. you'll right. have your spots and stuff exactly. like that a strap match versus the royal rumble strap match made it out of the first it round. did and you got to give it, it, made it out you got to give it its its flowers for that but now we're going up against the big boys we're rumble. in the big leagues now the rumble yeah it's is arguably i mean it might be my favorite i don't hey, we're know we're not getting the hey we're, we're not we don't know what's yet. next but i'm with you yeah rumble royal rumble money in the bank match versus infernal match oh, you're the, the money in the bank match is one of my favorites yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, oh we're getting down again to this the, is another one this is like the buried alive match we're on paper and in the video games like an infernal match is so fucking right fun. i agree you know the theatrics of the fire and you see someone fucking on Burning. fire it's yeah. cool but money in the bank first of all the match is sick and the concept of it yeah. it's just there's always nothing, been. i mean same thing with the royal rumble there's nothing like it the, no there yeah. really isn't it's right. it's money in the bank last man standing versus a false count anywhere Oof. so basically same type of match except one of them you get pinned one of them you have to be down for 10 seconds right uh yeah yeah basically yeah. um yeah. so what do you prefer <laughs> i last man standing i think falls. last man st- i think falls count anywhere in recent memory they play it safe with the falls count anywhere where like they don't pin them in crazy place i right. wish they would do more of like oh he got pinned backstage or in the crowd or shit. Or yeah like that i am leaning last man standing because you have that grit of like people someone... trying to get up at eight nine yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think i I'm, think i think i'm leading that just because and two like if you lose a last man standing match it doesn't hurt as much as getting pinned 
You know what I mean? So like when they did Roman Brock, like Roman had to beat Brock by throwing tables on him Mm -hmm. to keep him down. It's like, yeah, like Brock lost, but he didn't look super weak. In the feet. Right. And I just think you can do more in the last man standing. All right, last man standing goes. Oh, extreme rules match versus a steel cage mm. match. This one's tough. This is tough. I mean, for both of these, you can say there's, you know, there's, there's great ones, there's lackluster ones. Both of these stipulations, I mean, there is an extreme rules pay per view. There is. But in recent memories, the ex- and this has been the, the, the critiques of it, the extreme rules pay per views haven't, and we're not talking about the pay per views, but they have extreme rules matches. They haven't really, they haven't really been crazy, you know? It's not, it's not a match that needs its own pay per view. Especially in WWE, where they just don't do. If it was AEW, oh, sure, they'd, they'd crush percent. it, but no. They bring out the trash cans and the kendo stick, sure, but Extreme Rules in 2023 doesn't always hit. A steel cage match. I would argue a steel cage match also doesn't always hit. No. Sometimes it gets thrown on when it doesn't deserve it, but. I think with the steel cage match, people it's gotta like, climb more, too. You can either get pinned, climb, go through the door. So, mm. like, there's different ways, like, fuckery can happen and right. stuff like that. I'm going steel cage. I'm also going steel yeah, cage. I'll go steel cage. An Ooh. I quit match versus a Hell in a Cell <laughs> match. I don't think it's too tough. No. I quit matches have some iconic matches, and I love the idea of beating your opponent so much they have to literally, like, I guess, it's, it. I guess it's close to a submission match if you really think about it. Sure. But, you know. But Hell in a Cell, Hell man. in a Cell's great. I love it. And I think nowadays, too, like, when I think hopefully we're going to get rid of the pay-per-view because Hell in a Cell is so good when you're not forcing it down our throat like when you have like the one mania match yes and you don't I have agree. three of them on one event like when you do something like that it takes away from the the aura of especially it especially if the matches don't deserve it and you're like oh well, well that's what we like, put, roman, like roman like roman yeah exactly so, like like yeah it was a good feud but they didn't need a hell in a cell match but hell in a cell but let's let's be careful going forward yeah exactly okay All right, round three eight. war games war games versus a tlc match <sighs> This is where this is where I think maybe War Games' inexperience might show itself on the on the court a little but bit. I an am experience versus how fucking sick it is. I am going War Games. I don't think I want to see it win. I'll be honest with you, but I think I would. Ra- I'm more excited to see a War Games match than a TLC. But, match. And I think it not being around as much helps it. Yes, to be honest sure, with you, I'm sure. also going War Games because there also was a TLC pay per view. Right, and there still might be a TLC pay per view. Yeah, to be no honest idea. with you, I have no clue. <laughs> and yeah, I just think War Games. I like matches that are uncommon and they save them for like big like when they had the obviously it was the first one they did but the bloodline versus drew yeah. brawling brutes kevin like that was perfect a and perfect also match for that. they obviously call it something different but the aew version is always great too, sure you yes know? yes the blood like, and guts of course or, you know, yeah whatever but yeah it's more games more games it's war it's the number one it's the one reason it's, you know, you know? Oh, mm. the elimination chamber match versus the royal rumble it's not that hard for me no it's not but it's Back to back, we're normally they have the elimination chamber uh, right after the pay per view. I love an elimination chamber match. I do. I really yeah. do. I love the whole like winner gets a shot at Mania. It's for the belt. Like I, I love the stipulations behind it. I love but thirty men, thirty women. It's just it's over the top rope. And it's hard to top the Royal Rumble. It really it's is. It's one of the only... Because you were talking about like a Hell in a Cell peer review or whatever. It's one of the only just that... It's different. Oh, it's, yes. It's different because it's almost not even like... It's more of an event. It's not it's like, like the Royal Rumble's name. It's not named after the match. I think the match is just... They yes. call it the Royal the, the pay-per-view itself. Like it's one of... I, I get what you're saying. It's one of the only like pay-per-views where it's named after a match, but it actually like works. Mm-hmm. It's actually really yeah. good. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard. To beat the Royal it Rumble. Is, it is. Money in the Bank match versus a last man standing match. <sighs> it's can't. it's a tough play for all these other matches that, you know, you can see a last man standing match on an episode of Raw or whatever. It's hard com- It's hard competition to go against. A once you know, a year match. These Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble. Like, these are the big boys. And yeah. the, if this was a different video, maybe it's a not specialty. It, it's technically a stipulation it, it is they made it their way it to is. the tournament and they're dominating yeah it's this is duke it's this is <laughs> this is this is alabama college this is football. alabama yeah honestly you know like this is not the uh what was the one that sneaked its way in coastal a uh, coastal carolina, coastal no, carolina. This ain't no coastal carolina <laughs> i last man standing i love a last man standing match me too you know it's are they always great no i'm surprised but, it, i had an easy walk i'll be honest i'm surprised last man standing made it this far 
Because there's yeah. other gimmick matches that like are better than are them. more fun and and like you know like have you more said, theatrics. We can, I think because and it could be a, you know it's because it's its own product of how it is. Like since we see more last man standing matches, it's just kind of like there's more opportunities for a not a not so good last man standing match. That or has every Royal Rumble been good? Absolutely not. Absolutely has not. Money in the bank match been good? No. no, absolutely not. But like just because of the spectacle of it and like it being so like an annual thing, it's it's money in the bank. I got money in the bank. It doesn't matter dun, dun, what you dun, dun. think. Steel cage match. Ooh. This is, I've noticed this. Is, that, yeah. This is the younger brother and the older brother. Yeah. Which we, we wow. want the, the one that's right around the ring or one that goes around the ring a little bit more. Steel cage match versus a Hell in a Cell match. Again, this is like, this is like Goku. I know I pull out a lot of Dragon <laughs> Ball Z references. This is like Goku versus Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Right. It's I don't just, know what that means, but right. Yeah, I agree. Either way, it's a Hell in a Cell <laughs> either way, match. I'm either way, it's a Hell in a Cell match. Yeah, like they're both similar. If Hell in a Cell didn't exist, Steel Cage would go a long way sure. in this tournament. For sure. But Hell in a Cell is just a Steel Cage match that graduated on crack it's on crack yeah final four yeah so the final four i mean this we could have predict, predicted <laughs> yeah, this yeah oh war games royal rumble money in the bank hell in a cell oh, the one one to four seeds one two three four wow i mean you know i you mean saw it coming yeah war games versus royal rumble i think this is where war games takes a seat war games had a very good run it had a great number run. one seed for a reason mm -hmm. but I, I mean, we it was we've Gonzaga. Said it. it was Gonzaga. I think. Yeah, it's how, how can you beat him? How can you beat him? Royal Rumble. It's, I think now it's time to say it's one of the best matches ever. It's, I, it's, I, at, it's at minimum top four. Like I've said this before, my favorite events are Mania, Rumble, Money in the Bank. Not in any order. I might say I like Rumble more than Mania. I was going to say, I might Rumble like, might be number just one. Just because you never in know. In terms of anticipation, shocking returns. You know? Yeah. You never know who's going to win who's going to come out war games again it's sick it's such a cool it's concept great. and it, i love it and i think they they're i think they use it correctly for the right feuds and stuff give it, it a few more years and more history and more legacy to it in the wwe i think it it has it has a shot being in the final two but in in, in, a, in a few years but right now in 2023 I mean, july royal rumble bro. july 6 2023 it's it's the royal rumble it is this one's tough this one is tough money in the bank versus hell in a cell hell in a cell does have the history yeah i mean we talked in the on the podcast about taker mankind right i mean one of the best matches ever not just hell in a cell best matches ever there have been some unbelievable hell in a cell matches some amazing spots i do think unfortunately it's been like we talked about this it's been tainted in recent history it's watered down it's, wa it's been watered, watered down, down. Yeah. yes and again money in the bank it's annual they do the men and the women's now is every single one is every single match great is every single winner you know great no but it's just, again, it's like the Royal Rumble, shock value. We Everyone thought LA Knight was going to win, and they wanted him to win, and it was Damien. It's like, it was Damien. you know, it, it's even if it's not a good result, it's a match where people can be left shocked. And I think no matter what, how, which way you look at it, that makes an impact, and that is a good thing. When you get people talking about it. And like you were saying with, with Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank... That's a sweet spot for me, bro. I love a Money in the Bank match more than most things. I think the purists aren't going to be happy with Hell in a Cell bowing out here. I I would love to see Hell in a Cell advance. I, but if I'm being honest with listen, myself. Listen, we got to make some tough decisions. If I'm being honest with myself, I would rather watch a Money in the Bank match than a Hell in a Cell match. Like, I was upset I couldn't watch Money in the Bank this yeah. last week. Like, I wouldn't be upset if I missed a Hell in a Cell match. Well, I'm not saying I would. But, like, I always I mean, the look, legacy with Undertaker. I know, I know. Undertaker but and legacy, Triple H. But Money in the Bank. And Sean. Are, but Money in the Bank. I Bank's believe those are a, yeah, two the, matches that happened. Great example. No, but great ex Like, uh, Triple H, Undertaker, the streak match. That, right. That was great. But, like. Like, Money in the Bank's been around for almost 20 years. They have plenty of history. I I think we're in agreement, but It's again, close. No, it is close. Wrestling purists, I want to see how I want to sell, but if I'm being honest with myself, if I'm if I'm served two plates, I'm like, would you rather would you rather have be served Money in the Bank match? I'm picking the filet. I'm, I'm picking, picking the filet, and that's, you know? and that's Money in the Bank. That's Money in the okay. Bank. Okay. Wow. Could have seen it coming. Wow. Shocked. <laughs> the Royal Rumble versus Money in the Bank See, match. See, now I'm like... This is... I mean, this is the hardest one. No, this is like, the hardest one. At each one, I kind of like... I said some of them were tough, but I still kind of knew which one I was going to pick. This one, I am... Yeah. 50-50. I think... 
In my heart, my heart of hearts, I know which one I want to choose. I think I do too, but it's all right. So like you did with Hell in a Cell, I'm not saying we have to look it up. Yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of money in the bank matches. Not everyone has been great. Uh, then they had, um, you know, they were doing at Mania. Then they started doing um, the Raw one, the SmackDown one, the same year. Then they started adding the woman. And then they started bringing it back together as one big match. Then you got Royal Rumble again. There's been a lot of good ones. Yeah, yep. But there have been some bad there ones. There have been some, I mean, recently, I mean, Brock winning, that was kind of like predictable. No one really I mean, wanted it. The notable 2015 one with Daniel Bryan getting eliminated. Roman, Roman won winning. that one. Um, even the next year, Triple H won it when he won the. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, for as many good matches, I think there's not as many bad matches, but I do think, like, you know, there's a good chunk but same but at least with, with the rumble you don't know you don't you have no expect you can't have expectations you don't know what's gonna happen exactly sure you can go into it and be like oh i bet so and so is the favorite but you don't know but you don't know with that being said they and what's crazy they both do a similar they both elevate the, or are supposed to elevate it's a, a new star but similar concept because right. if you look at it if you win the match you're guaranteed a championship match money in the bank it's different you're cashing it in mm-hmm. obviously it's not like wrestlemania main event and it's an elevation match, mm-hmm. like you said. The Royal Rumble is playing with 10 men on the court right because now. I gotta be honest. Here, I think we're also thinking, too, like, Money in the Bank, like, there's more to it than just the match. Because then you win the match, and now we're thinking, like, someone holding it, and then we're thinking about the cash and power. I'm just trying to think of the match right, itself. For sure. Not the for whole sure. winning it, cashing it. And I get the same. I'm trying to separate with the Royal Rumble in the main event. Now that we're talking about it, I said I was 50-50. Now I think I'm, like, 50.1 versus 49.9. Okay. We could... So say the same at the same time on three so i think i know i know mine we'll do one two three we'll yeah. say it okay oh all right i'm interested and yeah this could be another in you know former iteration when we did the the theme song and we thought we were on we thought yeah, we, were we were right here the, and then we went we Batista went a different edge. direction yeah. yeah okay well let's see to determine what is the best and also our favorite it's all the same potentially determined <laughs> potentially determined <laughs> wwe match stipulation of all time mm-hmm. three two one royal, royal rumble, rumble is yeah. your winner yeah. ladies and gentlemen again i love a money in the bank match i was upset i couldn't watch it this year but like dude royal rumble is it's the best it's the best did we need an entire bracket to, <laughs> to figure that out no i'm glad we went through it though nope. let us know in the comments what your favorite one is who got snubbed who got left out we'll see you in the next one until then subscribe to the channel check us out on all of our platforms and we'll see you next time